So Human Nature. It's a documentary about uh, genes and DNA and how much control we have over them. Uh, but namely, this documentary is about a, uh, a, a breakthrough, um, the, a breakthrough known as CRISPR, which, uh, which are basically the way that they explain it in the film is basically that it's something that could repair problems within the genes. Um, so like if there were like genetic disorders that could, you know, happen in a human being, CRISPR might be act actually be able to change it and, and alter it and basically fix it. Um, now for about the first fourth of, uh, of the documentary, it, it's mostly focused on the hard science. Um, we do have a parallel of a, of a child who has um, sickle cell anemia who could probably benefit from something like CRISPR. So we follow him for a bit. We learn, you know, basically an example of the of a genetic disorder. And then, basically, you know, blood disorder, of course. Um, and then we get sort of the hard science on basically, you know, you know, what is DNA and and what does CRISPR do with that DNA and why CRISPR is, is such like a huge deal that biologists and scientists are talking about it constantly. Um, that's for about like the first fourth of the film. It's it's fairly, you know, mostly just like, you know, the hard facts about uh, about DNA. And then for like the rest of the film, though, the rest of the film opens it up to both like, you know, showing like the experiments that happen with CRISPR and then considering the ethical and philosophical implications of, you know, what this sort of revolution in, in DNA could provide. Um, and, and I like the fact that they talked to numerous different um, uh, biologists and scientists and researchers on this matter um, because they all have like a lot to say on that. And they do clear out a lot of like muck that would come with this because you know when a lot of people hear this when you have the ability to um, alter DNA you know th the first thing that would come up you know it's like you, you think of something like Gattaca you know where it's a future where people can control everything about how their child looks um, everything you know that their child has like physically and internally um, and to, to alter all that within you know you know with basically altering dna and they sort of clear the air about you know what you can and can't do with the stuff like obviously you know iq isn't something that is genetic you can't put that in there despite what a, I think it was like the economist was like the magazine that had that on the cover um so they they do clear a bit of the air about you know what is more science fiction about this stuff but at the same time, they also talk about, you know, the, the bigger concerns about the, you know, utilizing stuff like CRISPR. Like, you know, where do you draw the line at when you should use it, when you should alter DNA within a child and when you should just let, you know, nature take its course? Um, you know, it, it, and it's, it's a very hard question to ask because a lot of scientists have deeply, deeply thought about this, uh, you know, how this can apply to like different diseases and you know how far it should stretch like you know how far is too far like these are real questions you got to have you know that uh, that could basically alter the entire way that we live and like you know you know basically not really giving us especially like if you're doing it you know someone who's being born doing it out of necessity and then you have like this very very tough ethical quandary about you know how do you implement this and where do you draw the line um, one scientist in particular in this film basically said she had a nightmare where she imagined she was discussing uh, CRISPR with Adolf Hitler. Now that sounds a bit extreme, I know, but like at the same time, it's kind of like, a, you know, it's, it's foremost on your mind, you know, like how far does this go um, before it basically, you know, mutates into essentially a form of eugenics, more or less. Um, and this has been like a very, very interesting topic. Like I've had discussions with people online with this about, uh, about autism. Like, you know, if you have, you know, the, the, you know, if you have the materials to take autism out of, you know, you know, you know, someone being born, would you do it? And if you do it, is it really considered eugenics because you're, you know, altering that, that, that human being? And these are tough questions. They're, they don't have easy answers to them and there's a lot of there's a lot to consider here not just in terms of whether or not we can do it like they even referenced jurassic park at one point um but also a matter of like you know do we as humans should we pursue this 
like when we get towards like i think like the, the later part of the film they actually start asking a better question about how much of our technology do we let go this far as humans that affect the world and they kind of equate it to you know what we do with um food like you know how far do we go with food you know this do we do we go the same route with humans where we keep um genetically modifying it for the best results and and are they the best results if we don't allow um you know certain things to get through you know certain certain elements that make us different i mean if, if we're all genetically bred to be you know the same you know as extreme as it sounds and like you know like a sci-fi dystopia it is a real concern about individuality um and, and i love the fact that they put it in perspective here it's not just you know boil down to like you know science fiction you know crisp or bad you know it's it's a matter of considering all the angles here um including at one point they talk about you know the economics of it like you know if you do have this crisper material um you know who will have access to it will it you know will it be taken on by a company that will charge a lot for it and so only rich people will be able to you know you know prevent their children from having sickle cell anemia and stuff like that so all these astounding questions that i just i could not take my eyes off the screen for that first fourth i was kind of like a little bit drifting in and out because it's mostly just very very hard science but then once you get into like the ethical and philosophical quandaries of it, um, it's it's very compelling stuff and, and it's a lot to munch on. So I very much uh, enjoyed taking a very strange trip, to, <laughs> not quite strange, but I guess very, very thought provoking trip um, down the, the rabbit hole of CRISPR. So if, uh, if you have a if you have a chance, check out uh, some I've, I've looked up a little bit of like the research on CRISPR, too. It's very, very fascinating. Um, so if you ever get a chance, check out this documentary and check out CRISPR as, uh, as, as well. Um, it's some very, very important discussions in this film. So for human nature, four out of five stars. <laughs>